Hello and welcome to today's video on how to become a validator for Ethereum blockchain. In this video, we're going to take a look at the process of becoming an Ethereum validator and what it takes to participate in the network. As you may know, Ethereum is a decentralized blockchain platform that enables developers to build and deploy decentralized applications. Validators play a vital role in ensuring the security and integrity of the Ethereum network. But what does it take to become a validator for Ethereum? The first thing you need to do to become an Ethereum validator is to stake a certain amount of Ethereum tokens aka ETH. Staking is the process of holding a 32 ETH in a wallet to become eligible to participate in the validation process. The amount of Ethereum you need to stake to become a validator is fixed, but its cost may vary depending on the current market conditions and the price of ETH at the time. Once you have staked the required amount of Ethers, you can begin to set up your validator node. This is a process that requires some technical expertise, so you may need to seek the help of a developer or a technical documentation to guide you through the process. Setting up your validator node involves installing and configuring the necessary software on your computer or server. You will also need to connect your node to the Ethereum network and start participating in the validation process. One important thing to keep in mind when setting up your validator node is that it needs to be online and connected to the Ethereum network at all times. This means that you will need a stable internet connection and a reliable computer or server to ensure that your node stays online and functional. Once your validator node is set up and running, you can begin to participate in the validation process by verifying transactions and adding new blocks to the Ethereum blockchain. As a validator, you will earn rewards for your work in the form of newly minted Ethereum tokens. These rewards are proportional to the amount of Ethereum you have staked and the amount of work you have done to validate transactions on the network. So, to sum it up, becoming an Ethereum validator requires staking a certain amount of Ethereum tokens, setting up a validator node, and participating in the validation process by verifying transactions and adding new blocks to the Ethereum blockchain. That's all for today's video on how to become a validator for Ethereum blockchain. I hope you found it informative and helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.